In this presentation, we're going to look at an Excel 10-column worksheet for accounting. And you may have a class project or a class assignment where you have to come up with uh, this worksheet. So first off, let's just go through it here. We've got our, we'd enter our account title by assets, liabilities, equities, and so forth based on this accounting equation up here, what's on the balance sheet and what's on the income statement. Then we manually enter our unadjusted trial balance, the appropriate debits and credits for each one of those accounts, and then you can go in here and sum those. And If debits don't equal credits, you have to come up here and make the adjustments, either debit or credit appropriately, so those are manual entries. And then what this worksheet really does, it calculates out the adjusted trial balance based on your adjustments here to the unadjusted uh, trial balance. And then it comes down here, sums uh, your adjust sums the debits and credits. If debits don't equal credits, then you have to go back and make some further adjustments to the unadjusted trial balance. And then uh, then you would take the appropriate uh, account here and move it in manually to a, the income statement or to the balance sheet based on your adjusted trial balance. So these are manual entries here. And then you can uh, go in and sum up like the balance sheet here, do a debit credit and um, sum. So if debits don't e equal credits, you have to go back and make some further adjustments over here. Okay, here we're going to look at the Excel function for calculating the adjusted trial balance. And we'll look at the debit side and the credit side. So first let's look at the debit side here. Okay, our reference would be here to, for the unadjusted trial balance. The B column would be for the debits and the C column for the credits. And then for our adjustments, the D column would be for the debits and the E column for the credits. Now let's just focus in on this function. You can copy that down. And uh, just remember that this function has to be copied onto each line. So you use your Excel copy function or to do that. OK, next let's look at the adjusted trial balance on the credit side. So we'll look at that formula. And again, it would be the same reference here where the B column would be for the debits on the adjusted trial balance, C column for the credits. And then for adjustments, D column for the debits, and E column for the credits. Okay, let's focus in on that formula. We'll look at that a bit here so you can copy it down. Again, remember you have to go in and uh, copy this formula in, uh, using the Excel copy function here for each line. Next on the Excel worksheet, we have to sum our columns here for the debits and credits. So let's just look at your adjusted trial balance columns. That would be the F column. So we sum from the, uh, the first row to the last row. And that gives us a sum amount for our debits. Now moving over here to the credits, on the G column, we do the same. Sum from our first row, in this case it would be G7 through our last row, G29. Okay, now we'd have our sum amounts for the debits and credits. So we can make a comparison to see if debits equal credits. If they don't, we can go back and make further adjustments. Now you'd want to do this here for like the unadjusted trial balance, the adjusted trial balance, and like for the balance sheet. Of course, you can do it in any of the columns. All right. Here I show you a template where I've got the balance sheet and the income statement broken down by assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity plus net income. So all the assets would be lined up here under the assets, liabilities under liabilities, and so forth. So first let's look at um, the asset account here and look at our debits and credits. So here I got a debit with a plus sign that shows uh, that would be increasing our assets and then a credit with a minus sign would be decreasing our assets. And then jumping over to liabilities here, a debit with a minus sign would reduce liabilities, credit with a plus sign would increase liabilities. So let's just zoom through this list here so you can copy these debits and credits down and and then you can use it as a reference for filling out your 10-column worksheet. 
and also you can use it for any of your accounting classes. It's a good template to use when trying to balance assets and liabilities and so forth. Let's zoom. So let's zoom through here the assets and liabilities. Okay. Now let's go up here to stockholders equity. And then over to net income. All right, so here's one last look at this template, and you can use it as a reference for any of your accounting problems. All right, to summarize our 10 column worksheet, first we enter our account here, and then we enter its unadjusted trial balance, be it a debit or credit. Then we make our adjustments to that uh, trial balance by account, and then the worksheet calculates out the adjusted trial balance. So for example here, if we had a debit of 1,000 here, we debit another amount, amount for 2,000, we'd have 3,000. So it added the 1,000 and 2,000 to get 3,000. If we had a credit here of 500 and another credit of 300, it would add it up and it would be a adjusted trial balance here of 800. Now if we look here, we had a debit here of 3,000 and then we credited uh, 500, we'd subtract those two amounts and it would come out here with a debit amount of 2,500. And same for a credit. If we had a credit here of 5,000 and a debit 2,500, it would subtract the two and you'd come out here with a credit balance of 2,500. Okay, once you have your adjusted trial balance, you move the appropriate account over here to the income statement or the balance sheet. That is just a summary of what our 10 column worksheet can do for us.